Happy 12 days of Stitch Miss, friends. My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to Stitch Miss Day 10. It's day 10. I'm so excited. I've got two more small businesses. I've got four events. I have a little stitchy goodness to show you because I finished something on something. We're just going to dive right in and then you'll know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and dive right into featured small business number one. Scarlet Sky Designs. This business is owned by Shelby down in Texas. Shelby is a high school librarian by day and a woodworking extraordinaire by night and weekends and really any other downtime she has. So first, let me show you some of the things she has. She has three different ways to find her. She has an Instagram, an Etsy shop, and they're transitioning their Etsy shop to their own website. But I'm going to walk you around her Etsy shop first because that's where she started. That's where a lot of the things still are. So I want to show you some of the things that she has. So she calls herself the purveyor of happy stitching. Her story is so unique. That back in 2020, her mom, her mom has been stitching forever and she tried to convince Shelby to start stitching. Okay. So fast forward, not really, but fall of 2020, she finally picked up a stitch. She picked up one of those cup series from um, stitching with the housewives. So she finished her cup her her first stitch, it was on Ada, it was great, but she wanted to finish it as one's inspired by, right? And so she went to her husband and she said, okay, I've got this. And he cut, he had a CNC machine. And so they cut out a cup so she could finish it. She posted it on one of the websites and fast forward, you know, and the rest is history. Now she is making all the things. Now they have lasers and she just loves getting tools and notions and everything you need for finishing. So like I said, let's walk you through some of her Etsy shop offerings. Most of her, her catalog is very sparse here on Etsy, but there are some great products on here with any order on Etsy over $50, you get free shipping. So this is why I'm starting with Etsy. That way, um, if you order a couple things, you get free shipping. So you come into here, and like I said, she has made to order products. Most of these are all wood board finishings in all a range of sizes. Now Shelby has sent us all kinds of things that I'm going to show you in person, but I do want to show you some of the very cool and unique finishing items that I thought you might want to check out and see what might work for some of the stitches that you've got. If you know me, if you've been around for a while, you know, I love a good ornament and I love a good quick ornament finish. And Shelby is here to the rescue. She has these reindeer ornament boards that are adorable and you have options of talls and wides and then you can select the finish. She'll actually finish it for you, which is bonkers. So I'm going to show you one that I have done as well later on. But so you can pick out one of these stains. If you did the wide, then you don't have, then it's really like ready to go. You don't have to do anything, which I love. Look at this cute little Santa hat. What is so cute about this is you know, you get the Santa hat on the top. You're going to attach a ribbon on the side. It's going to hang from the tree. It's going to be fantastic. But look at all the different sizes, three, six, nine, ten different sizes. So I'm telling you, whatever stitch you have, if you have a cute little Santa, you can find it. And look at all these details. She gives you the details of the mounting area, the piece, everything. So you just go down there and be like, okay, my Santa four and a half by five and a half wide. I need the medium. So, or whatever stitch you're doing, it's easy enough. Some of them are going to be ornament sizes. Some of them are just going to be backer boards with this adorable Santa hat. It's going to be great. So she has these stand up stands as well. Look at, we looked at the Santa hat. Look at the snowman hat. There are so many cute, adorable, snowman finishes stitches out there the same options so many different sizes to choose from there's going to be something for everyone she's got these adorable um 
circle finishes. Again, if you're doing something with the circle options, there is a size she can make it and you can choose whether you want the scallops or the circles, you know, you choose a medium with the holes, without the holes, everything's on sale right now in her Etsy shop for a lot of these different items. Some of the other things that Shelby is getting into is on her laser and CNC, she's doing a floss drops selection. So she's cutting floss drops. It's kind of mimics the DMC bobbin, except it's even better. If you go and check out, I'll show you on her Etsy where, or on her Instagram where you slide and you add these, um, you can add the DMC tag on here so you know the number right there, but it's just very cute. She's running a needle minder sale, which is adorable right now. You can get a mystery needle minder. She's making needle minders out of wood, out of acrylic, out of all the things. Three needle minders for $8. That's a steal of a deal. The last thing that Shelby is doing right now, and she started, I think, in 2023, is mystery boxes. Now, her mystery boxes are just that, in that I are an assortment of goodies. Now, I'm pretty sure that she sent us one that I'm going to be able to show you in person, but she just launched two days ago her spring Bunny's Spring Garden box. So maybe this is, so it's not really Christmas, but to give yourself a spring surprise or a spring surprise for one of your friends, you can get the full box or the box with a pattern. She does say that this box, she's not having the pattern be a surprise. So people can decide whether, you know, you can see what you're going to get. You get the mystery boxes, cross sticks, accessories, pattern, floss, finishing board, and more. A value of over $150 if everything was purchased separately. She does show you that the pattern is the spring carrot by Crafty Blue Bonnet Design. So that is not a surprise. So you can choose whether you want the full box or the one with no pattern and floss. So that is her Etsy shop. Let me go ahead and just bring you over quickly to her catalog. Like I said, she is transitioning away from Etsy. As we all know, Etsy's fees can be very cost prohibitive for the small business. So if you see something or you see something on her Instagram that is you know, you scroll back and you find something, chances are it's going to be on her website and not on Etsy because this is where her full catalog is. And it is extensive. She has boards and bobbin organizers and these cross stitch floss boards. There's six pages of goodness. So much great. All these little finishing boards. She can do a custom order for you, but the finishing boards galore so many different things. Oh my gosh, I love this um, this flag stitch. I meant to get this last year. I need to do it. It is the cutest. I love it for a 4th of July finish. Bees and bonnets and cauldrons and you name it. Shelby is cutting it and staining it and doing all the things. So much eye candy. And I just love supporting a... Um, a teacher down in Texas. So let me go ahead and show you. This is her Instagram page. If you don't follow Shelby on Instagram, definitely go give her a follow. She is not only showing you her new products that she launches all the time on on Instagram. She's bringing you along for the ride on her life and on her stitching. And it's just a fun place to support her. So here's her mystery boxes that were going out. And like I said, so many fun products. So let me show you some of the things she sent us in person. Shelby has something for everyone. So, and it's just amazing. Fantastic. I love, she just finds something unique and, and puts it together to see like, what do you need? What are you stitching? Let's get it finished for you. So she has sent us an assortment of good things for me to show you in real life. Because as I like to say, computer screens are great, but sometimes seeing them in person and seeing them in relationship, like you can see how big it is, relationship to my head or my hand or all the things. So first thing I want to show you, and I teased about it, is that I had finished one of Shelby's I had used one of Shelby's boards to finish and I wanted, so I pulled it off my tree. And this is something I finished last year. So this is a Plum Street Mary, it's one of her Mary pillow, is it there one, two or three? <laughs> Mary something by Plum Street. And she has a series of three of them. But I finished this. This is that Rudolph wide board I showed you guys. 
I don't remember the details. And of course I didn't pull out my tracker card that on me and I put a little bell and the cording and listen, it was, it came fully finished with this beautiful stain. So it was just ready to go. All I did was pop my board on some sticky board. I made the cording, add a little sprig sprag glue gun done used. I mean, and the ribbon went right through the slot. I love this, love this and love these in the concept. So let me show you some of the other finishing goodie boards that she sent. So these are just cute little tags. It's a set of two that she sent. I saw these. These would be adorable for um, also ornament finishing boards. So if you had taller, tall, skinnier pieces, you could just, you know, stain this. I see it like red or paint it red and then put your finish on there and just attach the ribbon to the back. So, so cute. Like I said, boards, sizes galore, just so many options. They're all the, it's a maple board veneer, not MDF. So it's ready for staining or painting, however you want it to finish. Nice, all have nice edges because they're all lasered, right? This is a sweet, let's got the little um, holly leaf poinsettia detail on the top. So this would be something for a bigger stitch that you could just have a shelf sitter type thing, put in one of those plants, plate, plate stands that go like this. You know what I'm talking about? <gasps> this is another version of this guy, just a little different dimension with the snowflakes. So there's lots of snowflake stitches out there. This, I mean, just, just the detail on that is so cute. And so you can see everything comes wrapped in this shrink wrap. So it's nice and protected. These are two different size boards, just so fun for finishing. So these trees, didn't even realize that these trees can come this way or this way. So fun. So it'll fit one of your, per, your stitches perfectly, whether it's tall and skinny or wide and long. You, you know what I'm saying. Horizontal or vertical. She's got you covered. So those are some of the individual things that she sent us. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, and I'm super excited. Like I, I, I waited to open it with you. Remember I told you that Shelby is doing mystery boxes. And so I know that she did a Halloween box. She's got that spring box coming up. Remember that we locked around real quick. And then she did a Christmas box. And we were lucky enough that she sent us a Christmas box. So I'm going to open it with you. I haven't opened it. And so this is just to show you some of the quality of things that Shelby is putting in her mystery boxes. So you want to make sure you follow and get on board with what she is. So you open it up and she's got her list. Oh, stop. look at that list. That is all that's in this box. Beautiful bubble, beautiful gold tissue. All right. We're going to go through the list real quickity like. Classic tree tag finishing board. Okay, maybe we won't go in order. So the first thing in the box is going to be the tag, the backer board, and the chart. So you can see that she has included the Merry Christmas, classic Christmas from Hands On Design. You can see I stitched it. It's right there. My little sweet pillow finish. But how sweet is this board that Shelby has made for it? It is so cute. And of course, it's custom made right for it using the, the same called for size fabric. Now, it doesn't come with fabric. She has kitted it up with all the DMC. I don't want to show the chart. She, she gives you all the called for DMC, which is fantastic. So that's what's in here. I don't want to get these things mixed up. There is some sweet vanilla popcorn, fantastic. Okay, remember how I told you that Shelby was doing needle minders? Oh, this one is so sweet. I do wanna take it out of the bag. This is not a needle minder, just kidding. This is the threader. So this is a um, Christmas tree acrylic. Look at that glitter glatter. I love it so much. Um, the uh, two, two different size needle threader so you can do with a magnet so it's a double whammy magnet needle minder and threader combo so you have the skinnier one for your you know one or two strands thicker one for like a tapestry um strand whether you're doing needle points so it's a little little bit for everybody right and it comes in this cute little bag and then she gave you a set of wonder clips which are always fabulous sometimes you need those when you're finishing when you're doing your if you're a glue gun fan Another sweet little treat. This is the needle minder. I knew there was a needle minder in here because she showed it on her Instagram. And I was like, he is the cutest little 
bobble ever. So this is a acrylic double layer gingerbread cookie needle minder. He's so sweet. Look at that like shimmery opalescence um, acrylic. Like I said, super quality, awesome. He is just the cutest little dude. He was in here. Some Christmas stickers, which is always fun. And I can smell, I can smell this was in here. This is um, soy wax melt mistletoe themed. Smells like Christmas in a box, really. Um, there's all this fun confetti. And then last but not least, we've got two other things that are in here. This is a, another needle minder. Snowflake, so sweet. A pair of rose gold scissors with a hot pink glitter sheath. Love that. And then, oh, hold on, two more things. One is a set of those floss drops, acrylic um, blobbin drops that Shelby has designed. And like I mentioned, these are unique in that this is where you hang your floss, right? In this big, chunky square. Awesome. See this little flippy tab right here? This is where you're going to slide that DMC card or the DMC, you know, the little tab, the little paper things that hold the DMC schemes together. Right. So one of them has the number on it. And so that slides right here perfectly. So that way, you know, this is number, you know, 310 and you put slide it right there and then you have your extra and you can see the little extra hoop is actually can you see it's the shape of santa's head with his hat on it's adorable so a set of six little acrylic on a drop and last but not least it looks like oh these are with her whip bag tags which are super cute so it's got a nice lobster claw and there that so then you can write on it with your sharpie rub it away with the alcohol and it's good to go so they're reusable um with bag tags with a nice lobster claw those are super super fun so that is what is in shelby's this was in her christmas mystery box now what's so exciting is today's daily giveaway you're gonna get the christmas box all in one yay thank you so much shelby for donating this gorgeous box you are curating a fabulous collection of things to share with all of your stitchy friends so if you haven't checked her out check out her shop get yourself some finishing boards i know that she is stopping production or guaranteed shipping on the made to order things here in the next day or two so just don't be alarmed that you know It'll be there for next year. Don't worry. But to get yourself set. Maybe you're finishing, you're stitching some Christmas ornaments and you need a fabulous thing to finish it. Get yourself set for a finishing day in January. Get your order in. Um, go and show Shelby some love on Etsy and Instagram and all the places. And I'm going to throw in some of the boards that she sent us into the grand prize as well. So we've got a great daily giveaway from Shelby. And then she's, of course, always going into the giveaway grand prize as well. So let me go ahead and share with you business number two. The indie dyed yarn business that just started. It is started by Jenny. Jenny is a U.S. Navy veteran, a spouse, and a mama living in Wisconsin with her husband, five kids, and two dogs. She decided after her fifth baby was born, she wanted to deep dive into the world of dyeing and it really just started. So let me show you some of the things that Jenny has. We're going to go to her Instagram first. Like I said, she just started. So she's only got 166 followers. Let's show her some love. Now, what's interesting is she went to school for a fine arts degree, which is, but now she's crocheting. You know, it's okay. It's it's it. They they translate. So there she is, Miss Jenny, and so she is working. She loves to crochet, and like I said, she wanted to just have her own colors, and she's playing with the dye pots. She was, she is freshly new. She's only got a couple colors in her catalog right now, but I would love for us to give her some love and some support and encouragement to keep on going. And I do want to just show you this. This is Miss Jenny and her Christmas cardigan underway. How fun is that? That little cardigan just her hand dyed ready to go Christmas cardigan that she is crocheting I love it it's so fun so this is just her who doesn't love bright colored wool she, that's why she's dying and this is you know just a little dying session you know this was a Halloween dye session so what she has right now is two different colorways available on her Etsy shop 
So one is the Color Me Purple. So let's pop over to her Etsy shop right now. Like I said, she's only got two items listed right now. Hopefully one of them speaks to you. They are both fingering weight yarns and they come in 50 gram, 50 grams of skeins, beautiful hand dyed purples and all the different colors. Wonderful, wonderful two ply 50 gram fingering weight. So she's got the color me purple and the October autumn. Beautiful colors, lots of something. Let me show you what Jenny has sent us in person. So I'm so excited to introduce you to Jenny as she is diving into the world of dyeing. So I'd love for us just to cheer her on and get her excited and show her how much support we have out here in this community of knitters and crocheters. So some of the things that she sent us, she sent me some finished goods. So I'm super excited to look at this cute little hat. It's so sweet. And then a um, headband. So sweet. Now she did this with her own yarn. And she sent, if you wanted to do a little matching doodah with that. So there aren't any, um, I don't know what weights or lengths or any. I'm pretty sure this is the color purple one. The one that is in her, because it's definitely fingering weight. And, it, and I measured it. It's about 50 grams. So this is her color purple way. So, so sweet. And then we've got two mystery bundles. So again, this is definitely not fingering weight. I'm going to guess worsted, but so fun, fun just to add to your little collection. So I hope that you go and give Jenny some love and today's daily giveaway. You're just going to get an assortment of goody nitty fun. So in the today's giveaway, before I forget today's giveaway of the word of the day is going to be Rudolph. I didn't want to forget. Rudolph is the word of the day. So you want to use the word Rudolph down below in your comments to be entered into the daily giveaways. Remember, there's going to be two. One is going to be Shelby's Christmas box and one is going to be Jenny's little nitty box surprise. Or it's not really a surprise. I showed you everything in it. And then also you're going to use the word in your grand prize giveaway in the crossword puzzle to be entered into that. So speaking of giveaways, I do want to spend, send a special shout out. Thank you to six of my friends who utilized the buy me a coffee link yesterday in helping to, um, pay for the shippings for all these giveaways, which is very, very generous. Thank you so much for your support. So, um, Debbie and Lori and Kathleen, Marlene, Brooke and Fairy, thank you so much to my stitchy friends who are helping and enjoying this 12 days of stitch miss. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. I'm having so much fun doing it. And it does just help me because I'm gonna start putting all these giveaways together and organizing all the things and packaging them all up and getting them ready for the giveaways so that they can go out lickety split once I announce them. It's Bye. advent time. So today's day number 10. Are you gonna be sad when we're done opening presents? kind of like my daily presents. So, um, day 10, we're going to start with Tiger Lily Designs. Now, I'm not even going to explain this because the featured small business in this one is again, Tiger Lily. So, um, thank you for your support. What this is, these are my favorite things and I love, and I think you guys like them, my project information tracker cards. So I did a custom dozen bundle in the advent and so let me open them up now you saw i have a stitchy girls select whoops sorry i have a stitchy girls set it's right here that you can purchase this one so you get four dozen and it's these sweet little vintage stitchy girls right so these are my project tracker cards um, those are the ones that are available for sale right now. But for the advent, I wanted to do something super special. And so I went and I got vintage postcards for Christmas postcards. And I used those as my artwork. So in this collection for the advent, there are four different vintage. So there's this one. Oh, just love the baubles. And then look at that sweet little pink Christmas tree. Of course, I had to include that one. Yes, there's a pink bobble. 
There's no surprise, right? And then there's this sweet, colorful Christmas tree with those red cardinals. They all have the project information cards on the back that I just love to throw in every single one of my keepers and project bags just to keep myself organized. It has the name, the designer, the fabric, the start date, the finish date, so that way I keep them organized in my little recipe box after the fact so I can always tell you what I've done, the size. And then because I do technically custom color conversions for about 95 percent of the things I stitch. This way I can keep track of what the called for was and what, what I substituted. Now even if you don't change anything, it's just a great way to keep track of when you started, when you finished it, and what fabric you're using because just those details are hard enough. And so I love to use these tracker cards in all of my bags so that way I know where everything is. I don't have to keep track of a separate notebook because I'm really bad at that. So this is what is to, in today's day 10 of the Tigerly Advent. So I hope you enjoy your little custom assortment of Christmas tracker cards. Okay, so we move right on to Miss Sue. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at this gorgeous. I just love her, her color. Her mastery of colors is so beautiful and the tones of the purples and the blues and the greens love it love it love it love it so that is today's daily yarn then we're going to go into the colorado cross stitcher day number 10. let's see this one's kind of happy oh my goodness that's what it is it is a hand dyed threads and ribbons bee whacker stitchy lotions threadgatherer.com so it is a holy moly that's a waxer waxer so i don't last but not least is the ginger quilter it feels like two spools of thread and it is two spools of thread fantastic friends so that is the daily ovens it's all the fun for day 10 I hope this was fun for you. You found something maybe you needed to add to cart, share some love, support, all the things. Thank you to our friends, Shelby and Jenny, for being today's featured small business. And friends, I will see you tomorrow. So until then, happy stitching.